What's up, YouTube? Let's check out. He can't keep getting away with this. Who is the greatest player in NBA history? Michael Jordan, LeBron James, yep. maybe Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. No, it's Jamal Murray with two minutes left in a playoff game. Really? Can someone explain to me exactly how this man keeps doing this? Go ahead and add two more heart-wrenching daggers to Jamal Murray's laundry list of playoff heroics. I'm not even a Lakers fan, and this shot left me in shambles. If I have to watch this man hit one more impossibly clutch shot to beat my glorious king in the playoffs, I swear I'm gonna crash out. Jamal Murray might just be the greatest playoff riser in postseason history, and I've got the numbers to prove it. Here's a graph of the top 50 scorers in NBA history according to their career points per game and the difference between their regular season scoring and their playoff scoring. There's four different quadrants here, and whatever quadrant a player falls in will give you a general idea of how well they score in the playoffs compared to the regular season. Now, you don't want to be in this area down here. Less production on worse efficiency. This area up here is where the playoff heroes are. Big players who play well in big moments. Some greats who land in this quadrant of playoff fallers are the usual suspects. Joel Embiid, James Harden, Wilt Chamberlain, but there's even some names Damn, from that Will Chamberlain. Expect, like Larry Bird and Kareem. Michael Jordan, Luka, Curry, Kobe. and Durant are among the many players who score more in the playoffs, but they aren't quite as efficient as they are in the regular season, which shows Jordan. just how hard it is to make it into this quadrant of the best playoff performers in terms of scoring. Wow. Hakeem Olajuwon was a playoff demon, and just behind him are AD and Giannis, who have been awesome in the playoffs throughout their careers. So That's really where interesting. does Jamal Murray land? You might ask, he's way up here on his own planet as arguably the greatest Damn. in NBA history. Throughout his career, Jamal Murray has averaged. I always knew that Jamal Murray steps up in the playoffs, but damn, not like on that. Better efficiency in the postseason compared to the regular season. As the stakes get higher, Murray gets better. Jamal Murray might not be one of these top players throughout the regular season. Murray has missed nearly half of all yeah, games injuries. over the last five seasons which probably has more to do with his zero all-star nods than anything else. But even a healthy He's just got to stay healthy. behind many guards in his own conference throughout an 82-game schedule. Now, Murray's game is not favored as far as advanced metrics go. When you value Murray in the regular season, these metrics have him ranked somewhere around the 30th to 35th best player in the league in 2024, the 65th to 70th best player in 2023, and in his last healthy season up until that point hey, in he's getting better though. where he fell somewhere between the 70th and 80th best player in the league according to advanced metrics. Every but year. we know these numbers aren't a true reflection of Murray's game because we've seen him in the playoffs. Where in the his playoffs, he's the best. Look like this, and his value skyrockets into a top ten or top twelve player in the league throughout the postseason. And although That's his crazy. advanced metrics from this past season have him outside of the top thirty players in the league, I don't know if I can name even ten players who I would rather have on my team ahead of Murray right now in the playoffs. Here's a chart of the top 40 scorers in the regular season throughout the NBA since 2019 among players who have played at least 10 playoff games. Jamal Murray is down here in 38th place. A good score, but far from the best in the regular season. And now here are those same players and their scoring averages in the postseason over that same time span where Jamal Murray jumps from the 38th highest scorer in the league to the 16th highest scorer in the playoffs. But let's wow. take this even further, because here are those same players and how many points they score on average in the fourth quarter of playoff games, where Jamal Murray is ahead of every other player in the league over the last Damn. six seasons. Jamal Murray is not only the most elite fourth quarter scorer in the playoffs over the last half decade, he is nearly the most efficient fourth quarter scorer in the playoffs outside of big men. This is the kind of production you see from MVP caliber players, all time greats at their peak, not a player who is the second option on his own team. This is a visualization of who rises the most in the playoffs relative to how well they play in the regular season. Down here in the void, we have players like Gary Payton, Kevin Love, and surprisingly, Tony Parker, who saw dips in the playoffs throughout their careers. There's James Harden, hmm. about where you would expect. As we KD. approach a more neutral territory, we'll find players Steph's like right around Jimmy the Butler, middle. Vince Carter, Stephen Curry, Kobe Bryant. As we creep our way towards the positive side of things, you'll find players like Tim Duncan, Chauncey Anthony Billups. Davis, and Chauncey Billups. 
but all the way up here are the big game merchants, the players who really take Reggie the game to Jackson. another level in the playoffs. Guys like Kawhi Leonard, Ben Wallace, Giannis, Big Shot Bob, Draymond Green, an unexpected but delightful Reggie Jackson appearance, and of course, Playoff Rondo, who is one of the biggest playoff, playoff Rondo. risers of the 21st century. He's got a fairly big lead on just about everyone else, but in terms of production and playing winning basketball, no what one about Jamal Murray? even remotely close to Jamal Murray, who is possibly the, the greatest King. playoff riser in NBA history.